Hi, it's Pete Renzulli. Let's talk about how to lose money the right way. Yeah, I know. You came here to learn about making money, not how to lose it. Well, what if I told you losing money the right way, the way professionals lose money, has proven to be the shortest path to trading success? Let me ask you a question. Is it possible that just one change can bring dramatic and immediate improvement in your trading confidence. Think about what I just said there. Notice I didn't say trading performance. I said confidence. Nobody worth listening to would guarantee your performance. But how would you feel if you had absolute conviction in your trading ideas? Let that sink in for a second. The market opens and you are in total control over what you're doing because of your preparation, because of your trading plan. Not a conviction based on a gut feeling. That doesn't last long. That's very much like motivation. It comes and goes. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for absolute conviction. I'm talking about ab absolute conviction that your game plan is packed with high probability ideas. High probability ideas means that the odds are stacked in your favor before the market even opens. You are literally going to get to the point where you're going to predict, forecast, have a really good idea, however you want to call it, what should happen before the market opens. And that's where the power comes from. That's the power of creating a game plan. And that's what we do for 45 minutes every single morning before the market opens. Imagine ideas so strong that you would say, yeah, I lost money on that trade, but I would definitely make that trade again think about how often you've said that in the past and I will flat out tell you without even knowing you most people judge the quality of a trade based on whether or not it made money that's not how professionals make a game plan the quality of your idea the flawlessness of your execution following your trading plan is where money comes from that's why we want to get to the point where we say I did exactly what I was supposed to do just didn't follow through this is a huge trading secret, I, I, and, and I don't, I'm surprised it's actually a secret. It's, it's right out in front of everybody, but you need to embrace it. Strive to lose money on your best ideas. There's no other way to put it, all right? Mediocre trades, the kind that you're like, ah, you know what, Let me. I could try it. That's not a good trade. That's not a great trade. Remember, we're going to go back to what we just said. Strive to lose money on your best ideas. These mediocre trades are the ones that bleed your account, wear you out mentally, and they just exhaust you. But the worst part about it is, if you didn't game plan for them, you don't even realize how much it's costing you every day, week, and month. you got to get them out of your trade. You have to reduce them and then ultimately eliminate anything that is not a great trade. Say it again with me. I want to lose money on my best ideas if I lose money. All right, so remember this quote, seek to lose money on great ideas and where a great idea is found in the game plan meeting every single morning at 8 a.m. What if I told you the roller coaster of emotions you experience each day is easy to fix? Look, I've been there. Every uptick, you feel great. Every downtick, it, all of that will go out the window when you have a plan and you know exactly what you're going to do. It, at that point when the market opens, it doesn't even matter what happens. What matters is you're prepared, you have your levels, you have your stop loss, you have your profit target, and most importantly, you have your probabilities. That's the key. All right. Did you know the best traders make their money during non-market hours? Think about that for a second. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about after hours trading. I'm not talking about some secret ninja trick. None of that stuff. I'm talking about their game plan. Pure and simple, they are ready when the market opens. Great traders plan to make money. Struggling traders try to make money. And I want to put it into a different context. Great traders script their success for the day. There's no other way to put it. Struggling traders, and, and I've seen this happen over and over and over again, they say, well, let's let the market open, let's let the dust settle, and I'll see what the market gives me. Do not do that. If that's what you're doing right now, you're probably falling for the greatest myth on the planet that says, let all the overnight orders fall into place and only then get involved. No way, no how is that the right thing to do. I've done it, and I want to show you how to do it when we game plan together. 
profitable traders already know what they're looking for when the market opens all right crafting a winning game plan each morning gives you confidence to accept risk think about that when's the last time you went into the market and you said I'm completely comfortable with the risk I'm looking at today because I did everything I'm supposed to to set up the probabilities if it follows through awesome if it doesn't I'm okay with that too it's the cost of running business so winning traders accept risk struggling traders take risk and hope the trades work out get hope out of your plan if the bell rings in the morning and you are not 100 percent ready to say I know exactly what I expect to have happen and I know exactly what I'm doing no matter what you need to join us in the morning a well-crafted game plan gives you focus and this means you can relax when the market opens think about that when's the last time you said relaxed and trading in the same sentence just let that sink in for a second and imagine being in complete control when the market opens and it doesn't matter what happens because you know what you're going to do no matter what it's possible trust me you simply need to know how to game plan you simply need to know doing the work on the sevens which I usually do at either 7 p.m. at night seven o'clock in the morning one of the two and then as we start to get closer to the open you just check to see if there's any significant news that you need to be aware of a very common question that we get how are game plan meetings trading game plan meetings different from a chat room and quite honestly it's an it's an absolutely awesome question and here's the answer game plan meetings are focused on your ideas okay I am simply there to help you think through the trade scenarios that you are looking at for the coming day as well as the giant list of trades that I put together and then review them with you of not only what the trade is because if somebody just gives you the trade that's BS that, that's nothing you need to know what the trade is and why the trade makes sense and I'm gonna tell you flat out the result of not knowing why the trade makes sense if you don't understand if you don't game plan it yourself or at the very least think it through and have a discussion you will hesitate and you will not hold the good ones and you will exit trades too soon that have the potential to be monster winners if you don't understand the reason why it's a good trade and when you think it through that's what we do in the game plan meetings so it's a back and forth between us that's why a game plan meeting is different it's not a chat room it is a game plan room where you go back and forth it's a collaboration to find the best ideas and I will flat out tell you it is teamwork all right it's not us talking at you we're literally teammates from 8 a.m. to 8 45 sometimes the meetings run till 9 a lot of people like to uh, get their preparation done on their own after we give them the list after we do the review give themselves a chance to unwind before the market opens at 9 30 but here's the key the more you participate during the meetings the faster you will improve and you will get that week by week progress that the meetings promise you we will deliver week by week progress of you calling and learning how to pick great stocks for your game plan if you participate now when I say participate it could be calling stuff out in the room or it could be participating on your own and taking really diligent notes of understanding why a stock made it into the game plan that's where the value is how much would that be worth to you over a week a month a quarter and over the year think about it let it set in and actually put a dollar amount on it so remember our promise our promise is to deliver you week by week progress to pick better stocks to put in your game plan absolute conviction so here's how it works each morning I personally post my game plan I go over every single stock that in my universe I run certain scans and I put them down and I post them into the blog now what ends up happening is I post them to the blog and then we review them in the morning just prior to the market opening so I'm going to give you a little breakdown of what that actually looks like so this is the week of April 27th and you can see this is a list of what all the stocks look like we go over every single one of them time permitting depending on your questions but most importantly we actually go over your questions first at the end of the day see here's the key the morning we review the trades the end of the day I put out a video of exactly what happened and how they should have been traded it's one thing to make a call it's another thing to say this is how it should have been traded based on what we did during the day so first and foremost we go over the stocks that are in my game plan after that we discuss on video 
during the meeting exactly what's going on in the charts. So we discuss the reasons why each stock in my game plan is a high probability trade, and then your own personal resources of stop losses, loss, uh, risk tolerance, and those kind of things, then you decide which stocks you should be putting into your game plan. So you either can use the lists that we call out if you understand them and they match, or you could use the same ideas to put them into your own game plan. So each morning you're going to learn the reasons why a stock might be a buy, but also might not be a buy today. This is a huge part of learning how to trade and a huge part of the game plan meeting that we cover every single day. There's going to be stocks that are up a day, two days, three days in a row. Next day, the fourth day, we might say, you know what? This stock is absolutely a buy but it's already gone enough over the last three to five days. It's not a buy today. So we're going to let it open up. We're going to let it do whatever it's supposed to do, and we're going to look for a different opportunity that has a better expectation for follow-through. I can't tell you how many traders give money away because they're not aware of just this one little change of understanding when a stock might be obvious, but it's not a good trade today. And we talk about that a lot during the meetings. So essentially what I just explained to you is a skill of learning to assess trade expectation. So when you understand trade expectation, this is going to immediately improve your decision-making ability because remember we said before about eliminating those mediocre trades? That's a giant part of the game plan meeting is understanding when to stay away from a trade that might look textbook perfect, that might look like, yes, it's absolutely got order flow and you want to be a buyer, but the whole key of us making money is we need to buy it at the right time. And that's a big part of the game plan. So I'll give you, for example, if a stock is opening and closing in the same area, you would expect follow through. If a stock's been up three or four days in a row and has a giant move to the upside on the open, you would want to stay away from that. And we literally go over those types of opens and what to expect in the meetings in the morning. Right, so these poor decisions of getting involved at the wrong time, they're hidden in plain sight. They're right there on the chart. What we need to do is we need to work together as a team during the meetings, learn to reduce them, and then ultimately avoid them. And that's what keeps money in your pocket. So that when market conditions are good, you're making money and netting profits as opposed to just making money back that you threw away because of those mediocre trades. So we want to get them out of your system and get them out of your trading plan. So what do we do next? Next, we review your ideas. We always make sure there's enough time to start out. As a matter of fact, we've actually just changed the meetings where we do your trades first to make sure that we cover your scenarios first so you can personally feel confident in your decisions. Again, the goal is to close your eyes and say, I have absolute conviction in what I'm looking at because I am ready. It doesn't matter what happens. I have my probabilities. I have my list. Nothing else in the stock market matters except what I expect to happen today in these particular stocks. Remember that. If you don't have that conviction, you're probably too scattered, you don't have focus, and you don't have the skill yet to create a great trading plan that has awesome expectations. All right, so we discuss every reason why one of your stocks might be a great trade or why it might make sense to take it off the list. So the primary benefit of this to you, especially with your own stocks, is the quality of your picks get fleshed out before you risk a dime. Think about that. We already said we're teammates. We already said we're talking things through. Before you risk anything when the market opens, we have a strong review session of whether or not it's a great idea or not. Now, here's the key. This never gets personal. This is only about assessing the idea, and we're going to discuss how you could actually do that anonymously in a second, but think about this. What would this make you or save you, not only in money, but in time and frustration over a 12-month period if you fleshed out the good ideas to understand how to be more aggressive and got the stocks out of your list that shouldn't be there in the first place? What would that be worth to you over the next 12 months? This makes sense, doesn't it? All right, so next we discuss profit potential. Profit potential, when to hold trades longer, and when to be aggressive. The fact is all trades are not equal. Some trades have a higher probability to earn money, and this is a part of the fleshing out process. Is the market obvious? Are the sectors obvious? Are other stocks in that sector obvious? Are they all doing things at the same time? Are the market internals in sync? All of these things go into assessing your trade expectation, assessing the probability, and understanding when you should be exiting into momentum 
after the market opens or when you should be looking to build positions. This is all a part of the trading plan process and we discuss this every single morning in the meetings. So we discuss which trades to be your A trades, understanding when to be aggressive. And again, aggressive is three different things. Aggressive is more share size, aggressive is more positions, and aggressive is holding longer and adding to positions. It's not just one of those things, it's all of those things. And in the pre-market game plan meetings, we discuss how and when you should be aggressive if you should be aggressive. That's a very big key there. All right, so one last thing. We discussed this very briefly before. If you're shy but absolutely want to get the greatest value out of your monthly membership, but you don't want your trades reviewed in front of everybody, I completely understand it. It's not a big deal. All right, no problem. Send us an email, and we'll review your trade without mentioning your name. So you get the full benefit of the review, the trade expectation, everything we do in the room without necessarily calling out your name. It's completely, completely understandable. I get it. No big deal. So if you participate either passively like I just explained or you contribute to the room, I promise you will experience progress on a week-to-week -week basis and an absolute conviction in your trading ideas. Not even a question. I've been doing this a long time. I am passionate about helping you. That is my number one priority. All right, so each monthly membership comes with a 100% guarantee. So let's say you're going through the month and you're like, oh my, this just wasn't worth it. It's, what are they doing? It's not even worth the 100%, no questions asked if you aren't ecstatic and 100% satisfied that it was worth every single penny for that membership. Okay, just keep that in mind. It, but, however, if you're struggling, if you're exhausted, if you're literally tired of being tired and frustrated with breaking even, there's not even a question this is the safest investment you could make right now. It costs a cup of coffee per day for a 20 trading day on average. How much would that be worth to you in time, money, aggravation, and gray hairs over the next 12 months to go into the day with an awesome game plan tailored to your own personal resources, risk tolerance, and goals? That's what we want to accomplish together. So here's what you get in the trading plan meeting. Five meetings a week from 8 a.m. to 8.45. Most meetings do run till 9 a.m., but we officially end the meeting at 8.45 for those traders that want to take the review from the meeting, go and look at the stocks a little bit more in depth. But if anybody wants to stick around after the 8.45 time, that's completely acceptable. All right? My complete game plan analysis is posted to the blog each morning, as I showed you. We review every single trade in there, every single reason why, and... Again, very, very important, the trade expectation of the scenario. And we even get to the point where we discuss if it opens higher, this is what we expect. If it opens lower, this is what we expect. Think about the granularity, the specificity of predicting what we're going to do on the open based on price action. That is powerful. Think about that. Let that sink in. Does that make sense to you? The market opens. You say, I know exactly what I'm going to do before the market opens. Each meeting, we also do a game plan review video. It normally goes out sometime between 4.30 and 7 o'clock, depending on how busy the day is. And the whole point of that is so you can improve your decision-making ability based on the trades that we put out that morning. Okay? So, let me ask you a really important question. Do you want to get married? Yeah, me neither. Although my mom would like me to, I can tell you that. So what we're going to do is first we're going to start with something small. Let's start with getting to know, like, and trust each other before you make a commitment to become a full-fledged member of the game plan room. A 14-day trial is only $9.95. That gives you two full weeks to experience the game plan room for only $9.95. Click below to get started today. If you have any questions whatsoever, shoot me an email, info at tradingeducationblogs.com. But I think after watching this video, it's at least worth you getting in there to see what the fuss is about because we have a lot of fun but more importantly it is ultra focused on helping you get to the point where you're in control and you're relaxed during the day so thanks so much for visiting us today i personally am absolutely looking forward to seeing you in the morning meetings have a great day